Hello folks, this is Kuman Junior D. You're an independent source for wrestling and SCR music news. Um, I'm here to bring you that huge video I promised you last night. Um, I could not do it last night simply because rather it be an outside distraction or I couldn't string two sentences together. Um, rather it was I was tired or something. I don't know what it was last night, but I could not string two sentences together. And I had to make like four or five different takes of the same video. And I was getting frustrated and I didn't want to come over upset or uh, uh, mad at you guys. So, here that video is right now. What I'm going to do first is give you your Monday Night Raw review for the date of January 30th, 2012. Um, <clears throat> so, here we go. Let me pull my notes real quick here, folks. Microsoft Word. <coughs> Match number one, I don't know, uh, segment number one is uh, the uh, Johnny, John Laurinaitis comes out, goes around the ring, shaking hands, um, and talks about his job review uh, performed by Triple H tonight. Uh, says, it's quote, it's okay to make, he makes a quote, quoting uh, somebody he respects, quote, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you don't make the same one. Um, uh, twice. Claim to call the 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 uh, Royal Rumble match the W. He also claimed to call the uh, number one the uh, WWE Championship match at Royal Rumble down the middle, which we all know is BS. I mean, uh, of course, he stayed out of uh, the uh, situation, but at the end, when the ref was um, going down, coming down for two, three, he was in the ring with them to make it look like um, he had made the count. So it was a double count towards CM Punk. So CM Punk did retain his title, but still. Um, John Laurinaitis did not call that down the middle, um, in my opinion. Um, let's see, down the middle, last night's pay-per-view, talks about the next pay-per-view match, which is Elimination Chamber, names the slots for the WWE title match. Slot number one, of course, is CM Punk, him being the WWE title holder. Slot number two goes to Kofi Kingston. Slot number three goes to Z Dolph Ziggler. Slot number four goes to The Miz. Slot number five goes to R-Truth. Slot number six goes to Chris Jericho. Which the Elimination cha Chamber happens on the 19th of February. Um, uh, he also talks about the matches tonight. Then Punk comes down the ring... Singing Hey Hey Goodbye song to John, John Laurinaitis. Um, hey Hey Goodbye, Goodbye, all that. And then he clay, and then he calls him a funny nickname, Clown Shoes. Um, and then he, and then uh, Dol, uh, John Laurinaitis says, uh, I was aware of my word at uh, Royal Rumble last night, and I helped you keep your, but your, um, your title and I stayed out of it like I said I was and then CM Punk says well if you want to be a man of your word you can have you can have a word uh, how about dork or he called him a whole bunch of names but I thought dork was funniest so uh, yeah he ended up calling him a dork <laughs> which is funny to me um, segment number two which is which was match number one Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler of course, Randy Orton wins uh, via the RKO. Pin one, two, three. Down. Uh, segment number three, which is match number two. We had Brothers Clay versus uh, Tyler Rex. Clay wins via the cross, his uh, cross body. Um, he continues his dominance. I don't think Brothers Clay has lost yet. Um, segment number four, which is match number three, champion versus champion, Daniel Bryan 
for CM Punk. Uh, it ended in a DQ thanks to Chris Jericho. Uh, Chris Jericho pulls Daniel Bryan out of the ring and um, hits um, CM Punk and causes Daniel Bryan to win thanks to his interference. So, yeah. Segment number five. Mike Tyson is in uh, named um, as the new inductee for the WWE uh, 2012 Hall of Fame in the Celebrity Wing, uh, which I believe this is a good um, good call in my opinion, since he was a part of one of the most uh, historic moments in wrestling history with him and um, Stone Cold Steve Austin in the middle of the ring with uh, Vince McMahon. Um, while Vince McMahon was trying to name him an enforcer um, for WrestleMania 14, I believe it was. I believe, I believe it was. Uh, segment number six is our truth on commentary, which led to match number four, Kofi Kingston versus The Miz. Kofi wins thanks to the um, Trouble in Paradise. Uh, very, very good match in my opinion. Uh, just Kofi Kingston caught uh, The Miz in, with the Trouble in Paradise. So Kofi Kingston wins with the Trouble in Paradise. Segment number seven was the uh, Rock, huge Rock promo for WrestleMania 28 um, that you saw uh, at uh, the Royal Rumble pay per view. That was the same promo that Ryan. Uh, at that pay-per-view, it ran again tonight. Um, so yeah, that was segment number seven. Segment number eight was uh, Beth Phoenix versus Eve in a superfluous Divas title match. Um, Beth won wins within less than a minute. Um, less than a minute. Uh, then Kane comes on the Teletron. Um, says he's going to continue to attack Zack Ryder until uh, Cena embraces the hate. Then Kane actually, in fact, actually in fact comes down um, and goes after Eve. Cena runs down, saves Eve. Eve runs to the back, and Cena just absolutely tears into Kane, grabs the top half of the stairs, and beats him down. Uh, says he's going to continue to, every time Kane gets up, he's going to continue to hit him. Um, and then he grabs the mic uh, and, and screams at the top of his lungs, let's party. And you could actually see him smile and grin while he's beating literally the life out of Kane. Kane manages, manages to escape um, and runs out of the arena. Uh, then Cena just is pumped. And I was stoked. I was stoked for this segment because um, it's, just, it's a part of Cena we haven't seen since 2002. Um, ever since he turned face, we haven't seen this side of uh, Cena. So I'm glad to see that he's actually turning heel uh, slowly, but surely he's actually turning heel. And hopefully, by Elimination Chamber, uh, we'll see the full heel turn of. Um, John Cena, hopefully. Um, and then we had on um, segment number nine, the final segment, Triple H uh, almost fires John Laurinaitis, but um, he go Triple H goes out of the ring. John Laurinaitis is in the ring. Uh, says he John Laurinaitis says he'll do anything for to keep his job to for Triple H, and he's even willing to join the Kiss My Ass Club. Uh, John Lord Nitus is so he gets he literally gets down on his, on his knees and uses uh, some chapstick he finds in his pocket and puts it on his lips and literally Triple H turns around and says haha you need some help bro I mean he just absolutely rips John Lord Nitus the new ass um, and then surprisingly um, we haven't seen this superstar in like since WrestleMania 27 at all, uh, Undertaker makes his um, super, um, mandi um, mandatory WrestleMania appearance. Um, 
to challenge a, a, a superstar, and he challenges, he decides to re-challenge Triple H for WrestleMania 28. Triple H, uh, it looked, it seems like he turns him down. He puts his hand, uh, Triple H does on, on Undertaker's shoulder, s shakes his head no, um, while Undertaker's looking at the, uh, WrestleMania 28 sign and hanging in the arena, and Triple H walks out on Undertaker, leaving Undertaker right in the middle of the ring, uh, I guess with no opponent now. So I don't know what's going to go down uh, when it comes to um, Undertaker. A lot of people are saying that this is going to be Undertaker's last uh, WrestleMania match, uh, last match ever in the WWE. And I hope, I hope it's not, but I, I tend to agree with those, um, with those people, uh, that say this is going to be his last match, uh, speaking of The Undertaker, um, so, <clears throat> I don't know what's gonna happen, folks, will, will Undertaker find an opponent, will he not, will he bypass and just retire, w what will happen, I don't know, but I guarantee you this much, the streak will never be broken. Um, I've, I've alluded to this, and many people have alluded to this, uh, Vince McMahon himself has said the, uh, streak will never be broken, so it's at 28, no, I believe, uh, I believe, um, or no, 18 and 0, or something like that, 19 and 0, why did I say 28, um, 19 and 0, I believe, um, so this will be his 20th victory, or 19th victory, or whatever it is. Um, so, the streak will never be broken. We uh, Undertaker officially has no opponent right now. He tried to uh, challenge Triple H, but Triple H turned him down. So we'll, we don't know what's going to happen. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your Wrestle, uh, that is your Monday Night Raw review for January 30th, 2012. What I'm going to do now is give you a quick rundown of the uh, Royal Rumble pay-per-view review uh, that I promised uh, which is hold on folks let me check my time here uh, which is at 12 minutes and change so that's good um, I will just very very quickly give you um, your WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view video uh, results. Um, first match we had your World Heavyweight Championship match, uh, cage match between uh, Daniel Bryan versus Big Show versus Mark Henry. Uh, Daniel Bryan wins and retains the World Heavyweight Championship thanks to the slip of the grip by the Big Show. Big Show had him by the throat, um, Dan had had Daniel Bryan by the throat, tried to pull uh, Daniel Bryan back in the cage, Daniel Bryan was dangling on the other side of the cage, and manages to slip uh, the Big Show's grip, um, Mark Henry was not mu much of a factor in this match, um, uh, Big Show gives the WMD, the Weapon of Mass Destruction, to Mark Henry, and Mark Henry's uh, left in a slump, and uh, Daniel Bryan, as I previously stated, slips um, Big Show's grip and retains. So yeah, that's that. Uh, segment number two was Cena's promo for WrestleMania 28, going in-depth on Cena. So yeah, if you saw the pay-per-view, you know what I'm talking about. And then we had a surprise uh, injected match. Segment number three was an 8 Diva Tag Team match. Um, Beth Phoenix, the Bella Twins, and Natalia versus uh, Kelly Kelly um, and three others. Um, the team of the Bella Twins, Beth, and Natalia win. Um, Eve and her team and Kelly Kelly were not on sync uh, when it came to Eve because she um, just saw her boyfriend, her quote unquote boyfriend, um, 
just uh, just pile driven and slammed uh, down so we don't know the state of uh, Zack Ryder at this moment uh, we did not find out tonight on Raw we did not find out uh, before the end of the show uh, last night on uh, the Royal Rumble at the Royal Rumble a segment number four was the uh, Cena Kane match uh, which uh, which was a count out um, Cena and Kane fought to the back and Kane knocks in um, Zack Ryder private dressing room chokes Zack Ryder out um, making him limp um, uh, puts Zack Ryder in the ring pile drives Zack Ryder in front of Eve and then John Cena runs down tries to save Zack Ryder um, Kane choke slams um, John Cena one of the most vicious choke slams I've seen in a while from Kane so yeah that's how that ends and then uh, in between uh, the next match uh, we had a rock the rock promo which I just previously stated in the uh, raw review so yeah then we had um, Brodus Clay vs. Drew McIntyre which was another thrown in match uh, which was another bonus match uh, Bro uh, Drew McIntyre went to Teddy Long early in the night said he won the match so um, uh, um, uh, Teddy threw, threw this in this match Brodus Clay wins uh, I did not see this match because I was away from my TV. So yeah, Brodus Clay. I I put Brodus Clay as winning because Drew McIntyre was is on a major losing losing streak. So if I'm m mistaken on that, please let me know. Thank you guys very much. And then we had the title match: uh, Punk versus Ziggler. Uh, Punk retains his WWE title match. His WWE title, excuse me. Uh, John Laurinaitis did not trust himself because previously, uh, on uh, this past Monday, um, John Laurinaitis received a fax from the office stating that Triple H would re would um, would review his job performance, and uh, therefore uh, John Laurinaitis did not trust himself. So he stayed outside as an enforcer, um, and he had a, a s professional um, referee in in the match itself. Uh, like I said, Punk retains, so Punk is still your champion. Um, then segment number seven, we had the actual Royal Rumble match. Um, the mat the the entries themselves weren't as exciting as the surprises. We had Road Dog and Return of uh, Karma. We had Road Dog show up. We had the Return of Karma. We had all three commentators: Booker T, the King, and uh, the Laughing Stock of the Rumble, um, uh, Michael Cole. Um, I can understand Booker T and uh, King in the match. But I don't understand why they put they allowed Michael Cole to be in the match. I don't understand that. That was pretty much stupid. Um, yeah, so Sheamus is your um, 30 man Royal Rumble uh, winner. He gets to choose betw in between um, Daniel Bryan or, and or uh, CM Punk. And we thought, I thought, at least I thought, he was going to choose tonight uh, on Raw, but he did not. So, hopefully, we'll find out in the next coming weeks. He's got a whole paper, he's got uh, three more weeks and a whole pay-per-view to decide before uh, uh, the Royal Rumble. Exactly 62 days before uh, Royal Rumble, I mean, before WrestleMania itself. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy um, those two reviews. Um, what I will do now is 
uh, double check the time and I'm at 19 minutes uh, 56 seconds uh, what I will do now is give you uh, I'll give you the rest of um, what I had planned later but I hope you guys enjoy uh, what I gave to you uh, what I did give to you and um, please rate uh, please comment rate the video and uh, tell me what you thought of my my tell me what you thought of my thoughts um, voice your opinions and all that um, I also wanted to bring up a very quick issue um, that I found a little bit that I find a little bit disturbing um, not so much disturbing just you know kind of starting to piss me off uh, J Dub a very, very well respected uh, reviewer slash shooter um, gives his opinion on wrestling um, here on YouTube has a very very popular web uh, podcast radio show called the Empire uh, you can reach it at uh, the Empire uh, show dot com I'm not sh too sure on the web address but you can go to jdub um, jdubshow dot com uh, to um, find all that information or just type in the search bar here on YouTube jdub um, and that will bring you up to his channel um, he's been calling uh, the CM Punk fans uh, a cult, a so-called cult, and uh, I do not, I do not appreciate that. I, although I am a CM Punk fan, I do not consider myself such a CM Punk fan that I will bend over backwards as to be considered a cult member, a so-called cult member. Um, I do not appreciate being a, called a cult member. I know he was not. Uh, specifically targeting um, uh, the majority of uh, level-headed CM Punk fans, but it's still in all that was um, uncalled for in my opinion, and um, I just did not like it. Uh, I, you know, if you if if you are a zealous uh, CM Punk fan, then that's your opinion. That's that's your right uh, but I'm very level headed when it comes to uh, vaulting um, my favorite wrestlers um, I'm very I'm a very level headed fan so I did not appreciate that I just wanted to bring that up you know, real quick uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review of Monday Night Raw and um, uh, the Royal Rumble uh, and uh, like I said give your questions comments Tell me what you thought of this video down here at the bottom of the, of the comment section. Uh, rate the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Rate the video a thumbs down if you didn't. It does not really matter to me. Uh, just tell me what you thought. This is Cool Man Junior 88, your independent source for wrestling, NASCAR, and music news. Peace out. Thanks, you guys, for being so patient. Uh, I know um, this was not fair to you guys. Uh, so thank you again for being so patient. Peace out, you guys.